Yo, y'all remember Max B and Jim Jones going at it? Talk about your mother, nigga. Nigga, you's an ugly nigga, your mother. Nasty ugly. bitch, Chrissy. Chrissy, Jim Jones' wife. Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> I got money now, I got power, and I'm ready to ride. This is Max B, a.k.a. Chrissy Love Max, a.k.a. Freaky Ziggy the Snitch. A.K.A. y'all niggas on Bird Gang ain't got no money. So, could that situation be reconciled with you and him? Did y'all ever sit down and just like, cause you know y'all made incredible music together. For the, for the love of the music. Spit all on it. Yo, yo, she spit all on the head. Let him know. No. So Make sure you like and subscribe. We all Black Rose members here. Today we discussed that legendary underground beef. I got something important I want to ask y'all, so be sure to watch the full video. Let's get into it. Now, for those of y'all who don't know who Max B is, that's the Silver Surfer, aka Max Fuck with the real, man. Come get with real name is Charlie Rambo. He was the first dude to successfully popularize the whole singing and rapping style. The same style we see in Drake, Tory Lanez, A Boogie with the Hoodie, and plenty of others. He even popularized the slogan, ow. Dude was real swaggy like most dudes from Harlem, New York. Well, anyway, he ended up linking up with Jim Jones, the dipset capo. He signed with Jim Jones's Bird Gang, which included other artists like Stack Bundles, Rest in Peace, NOE, the fake Jay-Z dude, Mel Murray, who's currently behind bars serving time because he was involved with the whole Treyway 6 9 scandal. Back in the day, Jim Jones and Max B looked pretty tight. I mean, they had mad features together. They did a lot of music together. They did whole mixtapes. I'm referring to that MOB Bird Gang mixtape. I mean, it, was, it wasn't a song on there that Max wasn't on the hook. Max B was really the hook man. They was always on the road together. Hell, they even dressed very similar. Things was looking pretty good for Max B and Bird Gang from the outside looking in, but on the inside, Side looking out, not so much. Now, for example, Stack Bundles, rest in peace. He passed away in the projects he grew up in, like right in the apartment building lobby, if I'm not mistaken. On June 11, 2007, Dipset Bird Gang member Stack Bundles was killed in his hometown of Far Rockaway, Queens. He was 24 at the time of his death. Police said that the rapper was shot in the head and neck as he entered his apartment building, a part of the Redfern Projects. Now, for what is worth, Stack Bundles was a grown man. I don't think it's much else uh, another grown man could tell him to stop him from doing what he want to do. But Jim Jones should have took better care of his troops and made sure they never felt the need to even have to go back to the dirty, you feel me? Have to go back to the hood for whatever reason. I mean, nobody from Bird Gang really made it in any type of way, which says a lot about Jim Jones as a boss. I don't know how y'all feel about Jim Jones, but I don't... I don't feel like he's boss man. Like, I, don't, I don't think he could do that. Now Max B will also find himself still in the hood and allegedly committing robberies. One of the alleged robberies resulted in the murder and Max would get locked up as a prime suspect. Now during this time locked up, Jim Jones was starting to blow up crazy with his hit single Ballin', which Max B allegedly wrote. Now Max B would claim that Jim Jones was making all his money while he was sitting in jail and didn't even offer the bell to do it out. Think he was on like a million or two, two million dollar bell and Jim Jones ain't pull up no money. Guys, you talking about Max on that record. Why would they do that? Because you said at the end I shouldn't have bailed your bum ass out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's why. That's why. Jim got all his music. Okay. <laughs> I, I wrote 10 albums for that nigga. He got him in his drive already. I don't owe nothing. Niggas got his, he got all his songs already. How you think he got so hot? Came out with all them tapes. I did that. I put them hooks. What started I, it? What as soon started as I stopped, it? what still stopped? What Jim? Yeah. What started? What, what pissed you off that made you say, you know what? Fuck this. Just the way them niggas be moving. Them niggas ain't care about me. When I came home, them niggas ain't show me that they was trying to help me. At least let me just do my own thing and go over there. I'm not trying to. I, I won't. Yo, I won't even scream dipshit or nothing. I won't. I just rep the bird and go over there, dog. Yeah. I won't even be in y'all niggas' way. Y'all niggas want to run through Harlem and have Harlem. Y'all can have Harlem. I go move upstate some motherfucker. That's man. how it really, that's how the turmoil kind of began because Jim Jones wasn't holding them down. It's like, dang, I'm writing all these musics. I'm putting all these hooks together. I'm getting all these flows for you and you can't even bail me out of a bad situation when I need you, you feel me? So I understand where the, the, the heat for Max was coming from. But as far as Jim Jones, things just kept getting super disrespectful between the two, Max B and Jim Jones. Today, they seem like they passed it, but not really past it. I mean, Max B is locked up. The two egos are just coming together, two big personalities. You know, I wasn't there for that. I was just happy to be involved. 
know what I'm saying? It's just in the game. I don't, I'm never trying to come take nobody's shit. I'm, I'm in my own, I'm, I'm in my own world, B. I'm like, I'm existentialist, man. I like to do my own shit. You know, I come from a whole nother spot. So, you know, it was just egos clashing, a lack of respect, you know what I'm saying? And shit, lack of everything. That shit don't mix well, and next thing you know, you know what I'm saying, we, 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 we beefing. So as far as the content or whatever, it should have went a different way, you know what I'm saying? I think today, we would have handled the situation different. But, you know, I mean, we was young. We was all crazy. And now we here, we older, we got kids, and people looking at us, we gotta set the right example. We can't be looking crazy out here, so. It is what it is, it's all love. I'm trying to get back on that plate. Most important question I wanted to ask y'all is, when do y'all feel Max B is coming home? French Montana every year saying, Max B coming home this summer, coming home next summer. When do y'all think Max B is coming home? Please let me know in the comments. I need some some type of info. I need, I need to know when the wave is coming back. Anyways, make sure you like and subscribe. It's Black Rose TV, boy Z6, stylish, my dear.